All right, so this next one is the respiratory diaphragm. So the intent with this one is to address um, the transverse fascial dysfunction um, at the level of the, thoraco the thoracolumbar junction, um, which is right here under my hand. The primary intent with that is, as always, to affect the dural tube and release that. Um, so everything that we do is essentially to affect the dural tube. So I'm going to just follow the ribs up. The last rib here. And then the, so that's for the dorsal hand placement. Um, the ventral hand placement is, it should be right on the midline um, at the level of the xiphoid process, which is going to, we can follow that down um, based on her ribs as well. So we can kind of line up in that approximate area. When we are dealing with such a large gal such as this, um, uh, we can sort of break it up into two um, pieces. Um, so do work each hemidiaphragm separately. Um, so in that instance, we would keep our hand here, um, the, the dorsal hand, on the TL junction, um, but we would just come a little bit more cranially and, or sorry, um, dorsally with the ventral hand um, to, to work this piece of the hemidiaphragm separately. Give your arms a bit of a break in your back. So this is my preferred method, especially for the larger ones um, to, to access that without having to crank my shoulder around to get that. It needs to be noted that if you're using the hemidiaphragm method, you will need to end up at the xiphoid process at some point to integrate the two sides together. I would do the same um, on the other side, so repeat that. I'd stand on the other side of her with now my left hand um, as the dorsal um, and my right hand as the ventral, um, and I would place that once again um, just just dorsal to the midline um, on the other side there. Now there it can be a variation as well um, because the diaphragm um, can have attachment anywhere kind of in and along here. Um, as we kind of go through, get engagement, um, get some releases and get a feel for where everything is sitting, um, we may be moving that hand sort of a little bit more cranial to access those pieces there. <laughs> 